Hello and welcome to Bridge North. Although it might be cold and wet, any rebuild or restoration project is enough to warm the heart. And I'm here today to see the pony trucks fitted to 82045. So let's go in the shed and find out what's going on. So Will, wet and damp day at Bridge North, um, but tell us what's going to happen now. Uh, today we're going to fit the pony trucks to this new standard 3 tank, 82045. Um, it's a pretty, you know, pretty big occasion because it's the first time the engine will be at 262. So it's not like what we're used to do, which is fitting, refitting a pony truck as part of an overhaul. We're fitting a brand new pony truck under a brand new engine. So, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a, lot, to, there's a lot to change, there's a lot there. Could potentially not go right, um, but the group have done an absolutely fantastic job everything so far, so it will quite confident very well. And I suspect it's not like anything you've you've seen before. Um, quite an exciting project to be a part of. Oh, yeah, really exciting! Yeah, I mean, there's not many people who can say they you know work on building a brand new steam loco, so it's yeah, I'm really really privileged to be a part of it. And this must feel like a big step forward today. And oh, it is a big step forward, yeah. So, yes, it's in another stage in the project. And uh, still a long way to go yet. But uh, we've reached the point now where we are starting to put bits on it rather than rather than making little bits like these ones as separate units. We've started, it's all starting to slowly come together now. Yeah. Uh, as I say, still some way to go yet. Just like that, the work began using Bridge North's state of the art wheel drop, lowering the rear pony truck before the loco was shunted above the now lowered wheel set. After shunting, the pony trucks have risen slowly but surely, lining the friction plate up with a pin to ensure the perfect fit. After the careful alignment of the friction plate with the first pin, it's now time to line up the A-frame and the second pin before fitting the bracket to ensure that everything is in place. There's then another quick movement of the loco, allowing the front pony truck to be shifted forward. We're halfway there. And then it's time to repeat the process, with the loco shunted into bay four before the wheel drop is raised for a second time. The front pony truck proved a little more difficult to fit until the vacuum pipe was removed and then everything was lined up and set in place before an exciting moment could occur. And after a few moments and Will checking his work, it's away we go. The first time the loco has been fully out of the shed and the first time this type of rear pony truck has been on a railway for over five decades.
As the loco moves, the team continue to check for stability, security and smoothness of the wheel movement. And when the movement is complete, of course there's always time for a quick photo to celebrate. After a few hours, the pony truck is fitted to 82045 and it's had its first full roll out of the shed. If you want to catch up with the project, you can watch a video, our first video on 82045 and don't forget to like, rate and subscribe to see more about this project and other things going on at the Seven Valley Railway. I'll see you again soon. But this video doesn't end there. We even got a chance to catch the loco being shunted back into the shed. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.